welcome to the pod cafe thank you it's a very warm welcome we're all zombies in here oh interesting or white walkers whichever you prefer oh yeah white walkers stay relevant yeah okay yeah, so we're all, you know, we got blue eyes, and we just uh, have to listen. The Night King's our boss, so he runs this place. Oh, does he have yep. any coffee specials? Um, Like a white mocha? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, every we don't have anything hot here. It's all oh. iced. Oh, I'm okay with that. Yeah. It's a nice sunny day. Yeah, so you're going to have to go ahead and just get an iced coffee and uh, sit on down and go ahead and wait for winter. Okay, winter is coming. It is. Well, it's here, actually. Mm, okay. I actually don't keep up with Game of Thrones, but... Well, I don't want to say too much for spoiler reasons. Uh, but I mean, when this episode airs, it'll be pretty far behind. Is it? Two well, weeks, maybe? How do we feel about got spoilers? I think we're okay with them. All right, I'll spoil the whole thing. No, don't do that. The whole thing. How have you seen the whole thing? What do you mean? Don't you watch one episode at a time? I mean, I'll spoil the whole thing up to this point. Oh following yeah hmm. that's all i got for that bit i'm okay. just uh it's an accurate representation of how i feel today um yeah that makes sense like death okay <laughs> <laughs> um here's what i'm drinking okay tell me about i don't it. know if this counts but uh it has caffeine in it oh and it's Iced vanilla java flavored. Iced vanilla java flavored. Tell me more about it. It is um, that Mio stuff, Mio stuff that you put in. Oh, things. the Mio stuff. So what did you yeah. put it in? Water. Gross. So you're drinking coffee flavored water? It's actually pretty good. It just tastes like vanilla java mm. yeah it is pretty good um as far as the uh caffeine content not uh convinced there actually is any caffeine in it <laughs> um doesn't it tell you uh let's see one squeeze per eight fluid ounce serving of cold water or milk add ice or creamer to your liking Always dilute. Wait, they the tell you to put it in milk? Yeah. Gross. I wonder if that's good. Sounds For disgusting. For the best quality of use, use within one month of opening. Okay, that's not useful. Um, caution. Contains caffeine. 60 milligrams per squeeze, which is one teaspoon. Okay. I think that's about as much as a coffee, right? Pretty close? Yeah, pretty close. Mm -hmm. Iced coffee concentrate. It's pretty good. It definitely tastes good. Uh, I've only had it in... No, I've had it also in... uh, Pepsi Black or something? Is that a thing? Pepsi Black? Pepsi Black? Yeah, is that a thing? It doesn't Some sound right. Some sort of right. Pepsi I had it in. When you, I search Pepsi Black, it f- wants to fill in the list with Pepsi Black Lives Matter. Well, that's not what I was going what a- for. <laughs> but <laughs> Google's confused. Yeah. Um, it, I see it. Wasn't it. Like I a, see it. Oh, there is a Pepsi Black? Apparently. Um... Pepsi Black. Yeah. I see okay. it. It's well, a zero that. calorie cola. Okay. Yeah, that's what I had it in. Uh, very small portion. It's probably like 
four ounces and I don't know what Pepsi Black tastes like on its own so apparently it's a bold taste bold taste no calorie it was pretty good but I think I think maybe coffee is better coffee is better you mean coffee with the meal in it no just coffee in general yeah, coffee's better. All right. Iced coffee's pretty much where it's at. Hmm. But this is what I'm, I'm working with. Okay. What do you got going on over on your end of the country? Um, I'm drinking a Phil's coffee blend. Remember Phil's? Oh, Phil's. I do remember Phil's. I'm just drinking the dark blend. It's the um, Jacob's Wonder Bar. Is what it's called. You're drinking Jacobs at Phil's? I'm drinking Jacobs at Phil's. Huh. Um, it's actually, let me tell you about it, why it's called Jacobs Wonder Bar. Okay. Named in honor of Phil's only son, Jacob. Oh, interesting. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it's a dark roast and its aromas are dark chocolate, smoke, and nuts. Acidity is low, body is full. Do you taste the smoke? Not really. Mm. I just taste like dark coffee, to be honest. You know, like it. I'm not good with the aroma thing. I guess it does taste kind of nutty. Hmm. Nutty? Like nutty. crazy? A little nutty. Like a little. Little Eddie Murphy tastes a little bit like Eddie Murphy. Yeah, it tastes a little bit like Eddie Murphy. And then like hmm. the dark chocolate, I feel like that's just like the rich flavor, you know? Yeah. It's not like I'm drinking a candy bar, but I'm drinking a Wonder Bar. Jacob's Wonder Bar. Whoa, whoa. What's in the Wonder Ball? I don't think that's how that goes. Pretty sure that's how that goes. <laughs> I think uh, it's. Like, I, think it's I, I do, um, I do, I do. Oh yeah, that is right. Oh, Wonder I Balls! I remember those. What's in a Wonder Ball? Yeah, wouldn't they chocolate and then yeah. stuff inside? Yeah, that's fun. I want one of those. Was it toys or more candy inside? I think it's more candy from the Google images I'm looking at. It's more candy. It's like, uh, like sweet tart type of candy. Sweet tart. Yeah. You know what's fun about sweet tarts? What? They're kind of tart. But they're sweet. But also sweet. So it's like, are they sweet tarts or are they sweet hearts? Huh? Get it? Like sweetheart? Like oh. a Valentine's Day sweetheart? Sure. I mean, I kind of get it. See a lot of them it. on Valentine's Day. Sweet tarts. Sweet tart is kind of an oxymoron. Don't you think you see more sweet tarts on Valentine's Day than in Halloween? Um, I don't know. To be honest, I don't I don't think I shop much for candy on holidays. Sweet tarts. What Do you like sweet, sweet tarts? tarts better or sprees better? Sprees, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. I like the chewy. The chewy sweet tarts are good, though. But the chewy sprees are real good. Yeah. They're not quite as tart. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Good talk on that. So anyway. So anyway. Game of Thrones. Yeah. So like I haven't watched Game of Thrones, but I've been watching a lot of people's reactions to Game of Thrones, mm-hmm. um, which makes me feel like I understand actually. And then I go to work and people will be like, oh, my God, what do you think of the episode? And then I like just repeat things that I heard people say in the reactions. But without having any context, sometimes what I say is very wrong. Is it? So I <laughs> I think it's very wrong because I tried to do that this week and everyone was like, mm, I don't know. Mm-hmm. So here was my reaction to last week's episode. There was just like so much like fighting. There was like a lot of battle scenes, but it was kind of like a foggy battle, sc- battle scene. So I couldn't tell if it was my TV or if it was like actually foggy. Um, and I have response already. <laughs> I bet you do. I'm not done yet, though. Okay. And I feel like we're just, like, never going to know the White Walker story. Like, it's just a White Walker. What's his story? Why don't we get to know that? So, 
I don't know. It's just there's that. And then like, why aren't we watching any like human on human battles? I want to see that. Um, and then like, how many dragons do we have left? We have like one dragon left. Okay. What do you think about? I have have lots of things to say. Okay. There's a whole, there's a whole lot to unpack there. Okay. Number one. What was the first thing you said? There was a lot of foggy battle scenes. So I couldn't tell if it was my TV or the battle scene. Technically, there was only one battle scene. Was it really long? Which it it was very long. It was the whole whole like selling point of this episode was it is the longest filmed battle scene in cinema history. The one before that was the Battle of Helm's Deep in The Lord of the Rings was the longest filmed battle scene. Wow. And this one beat that out. Oh. So (coughs) there's that. Um, I like to qualify that by saying I'm not impressed because it was almost like there was less fighting than anything else. I don't know. They did a lot of scenes where there was no battling at all. In the battle scene? Yeah. They were just what, like running around? No, but it's all, it's like, I guess it counts. Like, they don't, I, I guess I don't know what the qualifications are. Like, to me, there was, to me, there was like a huge, well, no, I forgot. I was confused. I thought there was like a huge break in the action when they lit the fire emote. Um, <clears throat> did you okay. see, you didn't see the episode? I mean, I didn't um, watch it. These, I just watched people's reactions to it. Duh. So there was a lot of, a lot of fighting. And they lit a fire moat, and then there was no fighting. And, this, well, this is a good segue into my ne- next point. I thought <coughs> that was like a break in the action, and I was like, well, this doesn't count. This is technically two battle scenes now if they start fighting again. But because it was so dark, I didn't, it just didn't hit me, and I shouldn't have known, but I, it, I couldn't tell that all the White Walkers were literally standing like right right on the other side of that fire. Like you could reach oh. out and touch them. So it's not like they were gone. They were just like processing how to get around this fire, I guess. But So was it foggy? Yes, it was foggy and very, very bad lighting because I thought the same thing. Oh good. Where so I did say TV something accurate. Quality, but <laughs> then after watching the episode there's a lot of memes going around about the lighting, and oh. there's a lot of yeah, a lot of people are mad that they couldn't see a lot of stuff, and they were like, I don't know. There's memes like thanking the dragons for trying to fix the lighting, and <laughs> <laughs> like all the people who lit things on fire, and yeah, so it was very uh, hard to see things. Hmm. Mom, what was the next thing you said? Um, the next thing I said was, like, are we even ever gonna learn the White Walker story? Okay, so this is another interesting topic that um I've thought about with people, and I'm not happy about it because I feel like the whole White Walker story is kind of irrelevant. Oh, why do you say that? Because I I guess maybe not irrelevant right now. Basically, as far as we know, we could learn more information, I guess. As far as we know, the only point of the Night King and the White Walkers was just to put pressure on the main characters from, from like a different direction, like put a uh time limit maybe. Um a little bit of a driving force maybe but everybody thought the night king was gonna be way more than just a big bad villain like there was theories going around that he was actually a stark um Mm. and related to them but it was literally just like hey i'm a bad guy here i am let's fight up i'm dead all right my story's over so he's just a bad guy just a bad guy as far as we know hmm Okay. Yeah, and uh, um, people were upset that they didn't even really get to see the Night King fight. Like, he didn't even swing a sword once. 
What a loser. Yeah, and a lot of people wanted to see him fight Jon Snow, and he didn't do that. Uh, all he did was raise people from the dead and have them fight for him. And yeah, he never actually really fought anyone himself. Um, well, that's just someone that's good at delegating, you know? I mean, that's a true leader, right? Yes, but Am he I got right? stabbed in the chest. <laughs> oh. So, so he didn't yeah, he delegate d- that dead. well. He's dead. That's yeah. a huge spoiler. He's dead. Oh. Arya Stark killed him. Oh. So yeah. Who's Stark? Which Stark? Arya. Oh, that's the the girl who... Um, it was pretty wild because she had sex. Yeah, mm-hmm. she yep. did that. Yep, I saw it yeah. because um, on Instagram she was like, well, not her, but her actress was like, oh my gosh, my parents are gonna watch that. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have a theory that like either she had a body double, or <clears throat> like for for whatever reason her body looked CGI'd. Huh. Because they don't actually they don't actually show her top half. They show her booty. Okay. And her, and completely Wow, that naked. seems like very odd of Game of Thrones. I feel like there's naked people all over that show. Yeah. Um, it's, a, it's kind of a weird thing. The naked people Be- all over the show? No, mainly like Arya Stark being naked because... If you look up how old they were when they started the show. Oh, yeah. They were like children. They grew up on the show. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's lots of articles about that. It's quite fascinating. Yeah. It's interesting. But, yeah, so that was a kind of a weird thing. I'm not mad at it. It's fine. Um, it was It was a really good episode. I do have some complaints about it. Wait, did we get through all of the things that I said? Well, you said how many dragons do we have left? Oh, yeah. How many dragons do we have left? <laughs> and I thought I had an answer What's wrong that. with you? Why do you keep coughing? Cut that out. <coughs> I can't. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just <coughs> really happy right now. I just need to go to bed. Okay. I'm also probably very dehydrated. Um, yeah, I don't. Okay, I don't so know. how many I dragons do we have left? I don't. Okay. I can't talk about your dehydration until I know how many dragons. Um. So I thought I had the answer. You don't even and know. No, now that I'm thinking back, I don't really remember. We're definitely down to at least two. Right? Okay. Because I because th- I think the the zombie dragon is dead. Yeah, the zombie dragon's dead. We saw that. I remember that scene. He died when the night king died. Um. Daenerys's dragon is alive, for sure. Is Daenerys the chick with the long hair? She's Khaleesi. Oh, who's Daenerys? Daenerys is Khaleesi. She's Wait. the one with the white hair. Riding Wait, what? The dragon. You entirely just lost me. Daenerys yeah. Targaryen. Yeah. Is her name. Oh. Khaleesi is equivalent to calling her, like, queen. Oh, wow. Never got that. Thought those yeah. were two different people. Oh, no. Don't mm, you know that her, just her connected whole, a huge uh, dot for me. All right, all right. Her, what's, her, what's her whole name? But, so, we have two yeah. dragons left? I th- I think we're at two. I just don't, I can't remember <coughs> quite... What happened to Jon Snow's dragon? I believe it's still alive. Hmm. Why does Jon Snow have a dragon? Well. What? That is um a pretty big spoiler as well, because Jon Snow uh, is a bastard. Oh, yeah. He, oh, yeah, I forgot. I remember that. Is, yeah, he is a... Stark as well as a Targaryen. Yeah. So this is fun. He's he's dating Daenerys. And But Daenerys they're kinda related. Just weird. Is his aunt now. Wait, she's his aunt? Yep. Because he's his he's a Targaryen. Uh, um and based on the people you know, who his father was. Um, yeah. 
and mother. Yeah, she's his aunt. So they just found it out. It's also big news because her whole story, the whole eight seasons, mm-hmm. has been she's the rightful the person to sit on the Iron Throne. Yeah. Um, it is her right. Um, she's the heir to the Iron Throne. But now that Jon Snow is a Targaryen, it makes him the rightful heir to the Iron oh. Throne. Yeah, so people are like, what's going to happen here? Dang. Yeah. Um, mm. Queen Daenerys Stormborn of the House Targaryen, the first of her name, Queen of the Andals, the Rhoynar and the First Men, Lady of the Seven Kingdoms and Protector of the Realm, Lady of Dragonstone, Queen of Marine, Khaleesi of the Great Grass Sea, the Unburnt, Breaker of Chains, and Mother of Dragons. That's her whole title. Hmm. Yeah. That's a lot. I don't know if we really need, like, all of those names. So, you know, she's accomplished a lot. Hmm. Um, <clears throat> the actress, Amelia Clark. Yeah. Did one sex scene or naked scene at the very beginning of the show. Yeah. And was like, nah, I'm not into that. So like, every every time you see her naked from that point on is a body double. Oh. Yeah. Cool. Mm-hmm. So that's where we're at on Game of Thrones. Now the White Walkers are not a thing anymore. Um, they're not a thing. No, I mean they're all dead. Mm. All of them. Wow. Because when you kill the Night King, all the people he's all ever raised. Are dead. Yeah, die. So, huh. all they did was kill that one. Well, that's easy. Jeez. It was a little easier than I think I would have liked. Hmm. <laughs> Bummer. Yeah. So, how do you feel about the fact that now the movie, or no, not the movie, the TV show is ahead of the books? Like, is that annoying to you? It's been for a couple seasons. It, and, they, and they've branched off, so... George R. R. Martin is not a part of the TV show anymore. Oh, um, yeah, I forgot about that. They're just writing their own story. So now. do you think it got worse once he yes. stopped? Oh, bummer. It's not quite as good. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. And I feel like they're rushing the end of this. There's only three episodes left, and my question is why? Wow. Yeah, that's deep. Um, I don't well, the, know I f- why. I feel like they could have done a better job if they just didn't try and finish it like right away first of all why is there only six episodes in this season yeah that seems like they got lazy i think it's been people are saying it's a money thing they just can't like afford to keep doing it Hmm. especially because all these actors are so big now and they're all gonna want a lot of money to act yeah it's just not in the budget hmm but yeah, I don't know. It, it's not quite quite as good. Like hmm. there's there's been nothing that comes even close to the Hodor moment in Game of Thrones, and that was all George R. R. Martin. Hmm. I'm looking up what that means. Hodor, hold the door, hold the door, hold the door, hold the door, hold the door. You're saying hold yeah. the door. I am. I don't understand what that means. Yeah, that's going to be a tough one to explain. Yeah, there's that's this, okay. There's I can... this character who who is... Let me tell you about it. Know. His name okay. is... Uh... Hodor. Hodor. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And his name is Hodor because he doesn't speak words. All he says is Hodor. Hodor. Hold the door. Hodor. But he was born Walder. Yeah, so <clears throat> it was this huge, awesome reveal because for seasons... And I don't remember how many, but for a lot of seasons, all he said was Hodor. It was it was pretty much like a given that he was kind of like mentally disabled, mm. um, big and strong, but like no intellect there. Yeah, he looks like a big dude. And then we find out that he only says Hodor constantly because one of the characters, Bronn, the kid in the wheelchair. Went yeah. Ugh, yeah. I'm freaking when, nailing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He can do this thing called warging where he 
he has seen and can see everything that's ever happened in the past ever. And then he can put himself in people in the past. Mm -hmm. So um, he went into, into the past in young Hodor and then in the present um, present Hodor had to like hold this door to keep these things from killing everybody Mm. Um, and so like in the past he was saying I forgot how they were connected but he was the young him was was saying like hold the door hold the door hold the door because he was normal then and then it like scrambled his brain. So like hold the door slowly became Hodor. And then oh. we found out why he says Hodor. And it was because of Bran in the future all along. And it was um, really awesome. And then he dies. Oh. Holding the, do- holding the door. Yeah. Oh. Sacrifices himself. What a dude. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Hmm. Huge. That payoff. is pretty awesome. That was part of the book. Yeah. Th- there's a couple like things in the book that George R. R. Martin was like, if these things are not in the book, we're not doing this TV show. And that not was one the of the show. Them. You mean that's what I meant. Yeah. Yeah. Following. Um and that was one of them. Um apparently another one that we don't know about is still the, gonna happen. So Oh, another uh, one of those things. Yeah. So I'm looking forward mm, to that. That's that'll be exciting. really good. Yeah. Um Okay, so big weekends with all this Game of Thrones things, but did you see Avengers Endgame? I did. I haven't seen it, so don't spoiler that. But Oh, we can't do any spoilers on that one, huh? No, I want to see it. Yeah, not, okay. Not ones that I'm going to watch. We can only spoil things that don't ruin my day. We can just it's, ruin everyone else's stuff. It's probably, it's probably the best Marvel movie that's come oh. out. Of all the dang that good, I mean, it's got a stacked cast with all the homies in it. It's yeah, it's the best Marvel movie probably. I have two major issues with it. Tell but me it about it. Well, I can't because it will spoil the entire thing. Oh, bummer. Yeah, um, <laughs> doesn't change the fact that it was a really, really, really good movie and the best Marvel movie. But I do like. They're not having issues. They're just like, I just feel like I deserve better. Oh, you probably do. I'm sure you do. I can't. I, yeah, I can't tell you until you see it. But Okay. I don't know well, what when you, I'm going to see do it. Do you know anything about it? Do you know anything that happens? No. Not one thing? No. Okay. I couldn't yeah. even tell you what the Avengers movie was that was before this one. Why would you not be watching that right now? Oh, I've seen it at some point. Well, like you I'm sh- caught you don't up. Remember, it's called Infinity War, and it's on Netflix. So, oh, maybe I'll watch it. Was it good? Let me see. I think yeah. I could remember it. Avengers: Infinity War. I feel like I remember watching this one. Uh, I hope so. This one feels like a long time ago. When was it? Oh no, it was last year. Yeah. Did I see this? You didn't see Infinity... You cannot see Endgame if you haven't seen Infinity War. (laughs) I feel like I saw Infinity War. Well, maybe what happens at the end? What happens at the end of Infinity War? I could not even tell you. How you can't go see Endgame then? (laughs) Okay, I'll watch... I'll rewatch Infinity War as soon as we get done recording. You're definitely going to have to, yeah. Okay, I'll do it. All okay. Right. We'll, we'll pay attention. I'm okay. <laughs> Only to the end or to the whole movie? <laughs> no, to the whole movie, obviously. Okay. <laughs> There's Ugh. also, if you want to brush up on some of your MCU, I think Thor Ragnarok's on Netflix. Black Panther's on Netflix. Oh, I love Ant-Man Black and Panther. Wasp is on Netflix. Oh, uh, so I should I watch all of those? I mean, the most important one. To watch is Infinity, Infinity War. War. Yeah, you really don't need to see the other ones. I kind of uh, wanted to see the the Ant Ant Man one. I like. You ever that. seen that one? No. Actually, I lied. That one's pretty important to watch. Ugh, God. I would watch Infinity War and Ant Man and Wasp. I'm gonna be busy. Cause you like you get you know Black Panther. Yeah, you know I love that is. one. I've you seen know what that Thor's one. deal is. Yeah. 
also into Thor. Yeah, they they, they did some some interesting stuff to Thor <laughs> in this one. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. I think I just have a hard time with Paul Rudd being a like a superhero. <laughs> <laughs> He's just not a superhero to me. Well, Ant Man's not really a superhero. Like he became one, but he was a criminal. Also, can't see Paul Rudd as a criminal. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see in, how in shape he got for the movie, though? Like, okay, can you see uh, Chris Pratt as a superhero? Yeah. What do you because, mean? Yeah. Because From Parks I've, and Rec. <laughs> yeah. Because have you seen like? Like in shape, Chris Pratt. Okay, same with Paul Rudd. Have you seen in shape Paul Rudd? I just think his. So here's the thing. I think Paul Rudd's face is never serious to me, but Chris I, Pratt's face is serious. When <laughs> is Chris Pratt's <laughs> like face Paul serious? Rudd just kind of always looks a little dumb. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't know. Mm. I don't know. Well, yeah, you should only watch that man and that man. <laughs> that man? Did you just say, say that man? I was going to say Ant Man, and I was also going to say that one. So, But still makes sense. Still a workable sentence. You should watch that man and also Infinity War. <laughs> Noted. I will work on that before the end of the week, but I'm still not going to see Avengers Endgame for a while. Why not? Because I'm going out of town. Oh, yeah. Well, um, you're not going to avoid spoilers for that long. Okay, well then, I'll just avoid them for till we record next time. Good luck. <laughs> Maybe I'll watch the I'm reactions to the movie. I'm surprised you haven't got many already. <laughs> Maybe I'll watch reactions to the movie. I think I actually don't care about spoilers. Like, I think you could no, spoil you, it. you don't want to do that. You don't want to do that. Okay, but it's I actually fun. think I would still see it anyway. Well, you, of course, would go see it, but it won't be as fun. I know. I think I just generally like to know all the things, and I don't like surprises, so. Well, it's not It's not surprises. It's just like, what if I just told you everything that happened in a gymnastics meet? I would still s- watch it anyway. Yeah, but it wouldn't be quite as fun. You wouldn't get that, like, oh, my God, I can't believe that just happened because you knew it was going to happen. Hmm. I feel like watching things, I don't get that feeling from. What? Like, Do I you don't know, know that people were literally sobbing in the movie theater? Like, all that around me, I really heard... That seems really dramatic. <laughs> that sounds annoying. Like, and really dramatic. Everybody. Really crying about it? Y- yes. What is there to cry about? I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't cry, but you wanted I can't tell to. You, no, I can't tell you why people were crying. Did you want to cry? No. Did not you really feel a any sense of? I almost definitely crying. was like. Uh, there's a couple scenes where I was like. A <gasps> <laughs> Does that make sense? I don't know what that noise was. was I like have a, no idea what that means. Were like you? A, I feel like th- that sound like you just breath, made. Like a. <sighs> That sound you just made was like jumping into a really cold pool. Sure. Shock. Yeah. <laughs> also, the wasp? Like, what the heck? I don't even, I've never Lily? even seen... I've never seen this movie. I don't even understand the need for like an ant and a wasp. Like, those well, are things you kill. So, like, why are they... Oh, I don't know. Because they oh. can... Ant-Man can grow really big. And get really small. That's like an ant. gross. He's also very strong like an ant. It's Paul Rudd though. He's like he's like the I love you man guy. Yeah. And he's pretty kinda kinda like a version of that. <laughs> Did you see the original Ant Man? Yeah. No you didn't. <laughs> I may have. I just don't remember movies. Well, there's 22 Marvel movies. Oh, gosh. I've probably seen half of them. (laughs) Going all the way back, the very first one in the sequence was the very first Iron Man movie. I've for sure seen that because I love Iron Man. MCU movie timeline. So, this is wrong already. 
<laughs> Captain America. This yeah, list no. is incorrect. So this is so the, well. This list is putting it in chronological order oh. as far as you know what oh, happened ha- first in the fiction. So not that's when why the you start with Captain out. America. Yeah. 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 This is the order you should watch it in. Got um, it. But it does have. So it's like dates. it's like Star Wars. <laughs> yeah, I mean, kind of. Iron but, Man was um, first. Yeah, two thousand eight is when yeah. it started, and they just finished the storyline now. Wow. In twenty nineteen. Eleven years later. Yeah. Hmm. So how many of them have you actually seen? I've seen them all. So. <laughs> well, aren't you this awesome? Let me tell you. Iron Man, seen it. Incredible no, Hulk, well, go, seen it. You don't want to go in order? I'm going in order of the... When they came out? Wikipedia page that I'm staring at. Yeah. Oh. Thor, okay. seen it. Oh, I skipped one. Iron Man 2, seen it. Captain America, first Avenger. I think I've seen it. Marvel's The Avengers. Pretty sure I've seen that. Probably. Iron Man 3, seen it. Thor, The Dark World. Not positive I've seen that one. Hmm. I'll have to look into that. Captain America, Winter Soldier. Saw that one. Yep. Guardians of the Galaxy. Yep. Avengers, Age of Ultron. For sure don't think I've seen that. Really? Is that an important one? (sighs) They're all important, but... I knew you were going to say that. (laughs) (laughs) But only like... Like, do you know who Vision is? No. Okay, that vision's kind of really important. And, you know, vision comes into play in this one. Ant-Man. Don't read, don't read things on here. I'm just <laughs> I'm just looking at I was at just the looking list. through the paragraphs and Don't don't I'm you can't that. even see where I'm scrolling right now. I was All just right. looking at the Ant-Man. Ant-Man. Nope. Captain America Civil War. Yep, seen that. Doctor okay. Strange. I know that I watched it, but I actually slept through the whole thing. So okay. we'll count that as I've seen it. Okay. Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Seen that. Spider-Man Homecoming. Yeah, it was so PG-13, I couldn't handle it. Uh, Thor. Not positive I've seen that one. Ragnarok. Ragnarok. Yeah, not sure I've seen it. Black Panther. Yep. That's Avengers on Netflix. Infinity War. That one, maybe. That's the one we've been talking about. Yeah. I feel like I've seen it, but I don't know. Maybe not, though. Um, Ant-Man, Wasp, nope. Captain Marvel. What's that? That's the new one that just came out right before Endgame. I don't know it. Endgame. Haven't seen that. Wow, I have like six movies to watch. If it's not still in theaters, it literally just left theaters. When Captain I was in Georgia, Marvel. I saw it in theaters. Oh, um, I haven't been in. Oh, uh, I have been in the movie theaters recently, but I saw How to Train Your Dragon three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I mean, so I have um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine nine of them to watch to catch up. Wow. Well, here's what I'll tell you. Okay. Of the ones that you have to watch, if you wanted to not watch some of them... Okay. I would go ahead and say Captain Marvel. You get skip. Sweet. Um, what else is on the list? Ant-Man and Wasp. You should probably watch that one. What about the first Ant Man? Uh, less important. It's cool. just like his origin story. Yeah, well, we don't care about that. No. Um, Avengers: Age of Ultron. Pretty important. Thor: The Dark World. Maybe I've seen that one, but if not, I would watch it because I love Thor. Okay, then you I just mean, watch all the Thor ones. Who doesn't Ragnarok love a Hemsworth? Is on Netflix. Great, I'll watch that. I love Mia Hemsworth. Okay, that's all I really need to do. Doctor Strange, I uh, couldn't tell you anything about it. No, I saw it. No, I slept through it. I would say um, more important just to watch Infinity War. Okay, I'll just do that. 
Wait, no, I think I've seen Infinity. Oh, no, that's the one I have to watch on Netflix. <laughs> yeah. Gosh, this is hard. Okay. You okay. should have gone to the AMC theaters. They did the marathon where they played all 220, all 220, all 22 minutes, <laughs> not minutes, movies, all 22 movies in a What are you saying right row. now? <laughs> in a oh, row. That sounds awful. Yeah, it was days. People went there for days and it cost like a hundred some dollars to get a ticket, but you got, you watched all 22 movies in order. Wow. Do those people have jobs? What do people do? <laughs> they probably took off. Wow. Um, I don't think I could do that. I actually don't enjoy watching movies in theaters. Why? I find movie theaters to just be, like, uncomfortable. If I want to watch a movie, I want to be, like, laying down with a pillow and a blanket. That's why you fell asleep to Doctor Strange. (laughs) Fair. Maybe Doctor Strange wasn't (laughs) exciting enough. Well. I don't know. I just feel like movies are supposed to be relaxing. And if you require me to sit upright and stare at a giant screen, I just feel like I'm at work again. Are they supposed to be relaxing? Are they not? I thought, I I thought movies are like a leisure activity, not like a, you know. I don't know. <sighs> I don't know. I hate this. They call some movies thrillers for a reason. True. Nope, I still don't think it should be something that I have to, like, be alert for. Well, <laughs> how are you going to pick up on, on subtle details if you're not alert? Uh, I'm not, but someone will either explain them to me, I'll miss them completely, or I'll Google them later. Oh, okay. All right, oh, well, all right, you, you do, you, you. Okay, so beyond movies and TV... Listen to this real life situation I got on my hands. Okay. Would love your take on it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. So my office moved. So I'm at this new location in the city. So I'm like switching up my workout schedule and whatnot. Mm-hmm. So now I go to this gym that's kind of near my work in the morning. But there's this other person that goes to the same gym around the same time that I go. And it's a dude that I went on one Bumble date with. Mm. Met him on Bumble, went on a date with. Can't decide what I do with this situation. Do you think he remembers me? Do you think I wait to see if he does? Do you think if we make eye contact, I have to say hello? Is this like going to rekindle something? Uh, I'm not sure. I mean, we only went on one date. There wasn't much kindling. Why? Why only one? I don't know. I think it was okay. just okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, I mean, probably. I should just you, say hi. No. I if it were me, I would. I, like, how long ago was it that I saw him? Just this morning. No. <laughs> the, you, the date. What? Yeah. I don't remember. Uh, okay, then I would just pretend like I don't remember him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see if I can figure it out. Uh, Which is kind of insulting because it's like, oh, you didn't make any impact on me. I mean, he didn't really. Okay. I mean, he he did because it was a nice date, but it was like not really that great. I don't know. You know, it was just a whatever. It was a whatever. Sure. Oh, here we go. I can tell you when it was. It was March 30th. That's not that long ago. Oh. <laughs> That's <laughs> literally month. a month ago. Exactly a month, a month ago. That's a long time. That's not really that long. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. You can't really pretend like you know who he is, I don't think. Oh. Okay. Well, I think I'll just wait till eye contact occurs. Sure. And then go from there. Yeah, all right. Mm-hmm. Interesting. You might just have to go to a new gym. I think that's, <laughs> that's what, what I was at. thinking, too. But <laughs> I, did, <laughs> I did like this location. It has a better locker room than the other one, but... Well, well got to make sacrifices. Yeah. Maybe he should go to a new gym. Okay, why don't you tell him? <laughs> <laughs> Send him a I mean, Bumble really, message. if we can just, like, mutually decide to not interact in the morning... That would be cool. 
because yeah, that's will. all I need. I don't care if I have to see you every day, but like I just want to work out and then go to work. You know. Well, maybe maybe you don't have to talk to each other. Maybe maybe that can be agrees. unspoken. Yeah, maybe. Okay. Okay. All right, it's great. Thanks. Glad we talked that through. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I don't think anything in real life going on, really. Okay, well, that's, like, all I got, and it seems like you're pretty tired, so if you'd like, we can cut it short today. Yeah, I think maybe that's a good idea. Are you going to, like, go back to sleep right now, though? Oh, yeah. Oh, you just right woke up to, to podcast, and now you're going to go to sleep. That's it. Wow, you're so dedicated. Yeah, because I have to go to Vegas you. tomorrow. So you're in a Vegas? Oh, my God, fun. For the other job... But I also like, ugh, I have so much to do. I gotta print out my paperwork, and I have to have a phone conversation with the parents before the job happens. So sometime between now and 3 a.m., nah, 2 a.m., I guess technically Thursday morning, but Wednesday night, I have to have a phone conversation with them. Well, that seems easy. Sleep tonight, phone conversation tomorrow. Yeah, it's just putting a wrench in it, because on days that I do those, I like to sleep in super late, because I don't like to be awake for a long time and then have to go kidnap someone at 3 a.m., so I I'm just like... I still don't think that's the proper uh, terminology. Uh, I don't, okay. don't want to have to go intervention someone at 3 a.m., mm. intervene. So, I don't understand the problem. I ha- well, I have to get up at a decent, t- you know, I was thinking like 8 tomorrow just so I can send this text to these people saying, hey, when can you have a phone conversation? Just in case, you know, the morning is the best time for them to have a phone conversation. But I don't like to get up, or I, I do like to sleep in do on days realize- I have to do these jobs because now I'm going to have another time where I'm awake for a very long time. Do you realize that if you go to sleep within the next 30 minutes you could wake up at 8 and get 10 hours of sleep? That's not the point. I think. <laughs> the point is the time I'm awake to the time I will be asleep again. Why well, don't... Okay. This feels now like weekends. I'm going to be awake if I, if I wake up at 8 a.m. tomorrow. I am not sleeping until probably 10 p.m. the next day. That's okay. more than 24 hours. Well, why don't you just take a nap? Wait, when? I can't on the day. job. I can't on the job. What time do you leave tomorrow? I thought you said 3 a.m. Yeah. I feel like and you have all go, day tomorrow. I got to go to the gym from 4 to 9 so what are you doing between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m.? I can't sleep because I have to, <laughs> I don't know when I'm going to have to call, have this conversation with these parents. Why don't you send them a text, set your alarm, send your send the text at like 7 a.m., wait till yeah. they reply, go back to sleep once they reply, wake up again when the phone conversation is happening because it's it's like what if they're I just like feel like don't i can't do the what ifs so well because you don't know they like <laughs> one time they just don't text you back for a while and then all of a sudden they text you back i'm not waiting around for that and then what if i don't hear the text and then why don't you text them tonight because i definitely don't want to have the phone conversation tonight no, text them tonight. Be like, hey, what time works for you tomorrow? Ooh, I, I think I, I won. <laughs> Why would you give that a try? Maybe they'll reply. Why don't you send it right now? I just don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because then you could go asleep, go to sleep knowing what time this phone conversation is. Yeah. Yeah, I guess I'll send it. But what if, yeah. Don't start with the what ifs again. <laughs> What ifs are dumb? I just have a lot to do. I also have to go buy new ink for my printer because I can't print out my paperwork without ink. They don't provide you with the printed paperwork for you? 
Where, how, gonna, how am I going to get the printed paperwork Why do you from have to a company this? that's based in Utah? That's where they are. <laughs> I couldn't remember. Why do you have to print things? That's like so. Because I have transfer forms that need to be signed. Oh, stressful. Sorry, okay. My, my Cortana on my computer got activated, so I didn't hear what you said. But yeah, I have a lot of people do it on their phone, but I have to get signatures. Can you I do don't that know on how your to. Phone? I don't know how to do that on my phone. I feel like there's like a DocuSign app. And also, I'm very. I'm always afraid that my phone's gonna die, or I won't have. Wow. Sometimes we don't have Wi-Fi, and like. I You're don't like know. so full of like what ifs and apocalypse problems. I just I can't even help you. I don't know that like paperwork is a in an apocalypse problem. Yeah, but it sounds like the stress about. No phone battery and yeah, Wi-Fi and apocalypse problems. I mean, I just have to be. I just have to have the paperwork in case. I have to be prepared. So I'm an Eagle Scout. Oh, be prepared is the Scout motto. I I guess. And once you're Eagle Scouted, you're never not Eagle Scouted, huh? Yep. Hmm. That's the motto or the slogan. Is it the slogan or the motto? No, the slogan is, this guy is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, oh, friendly, God. courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. You're clean? I feel like clean was like a big miss on that. Like, we're talking about a group of boys. Yeah, but they're clean. You know, like they're good clean. hygiene. No, nah, I don't think so. Boys are dirty, and they go camping. Okay, uh, <laughs> seems subjective, because I think you could probably do that with every word, like, trustworthy. I feel like dudes, that? Can, dudes can be trustworthy. Well, we're not even talking about dudes. We're talking about just Boy Scouts. To be a Boy Scout, you have to be trustworthy. Mm-hmm. You have to be loyal. You have to be helpful. You have to be friendly. You have to be courteous, which is kind of friendly, right? I don't. <laughs> <laughs> um, courteous? You have to be kind, which is also courteous and friendly. Yeah. <laughs> um, courteous, kind. Cheerful, you have to be cheerful. You have to be thrifty, which I don't actually <laughs> know what that means, I don't think. Um, you have to be clean. I feel like thrifty means like, you know, you got a rope, you tie a knot, you know? Is that thrifty? <laughs> yeah. You gotta be clean and then you gotta be reverent, and I also don't know what reverent means, so I feel like you're really effing up here without knowing what these words mean. Thrifty. I got the car rental. <laughs> Reverent means feeling or showing deep and solemn respect. Okay, okay. Thrifty means using money or other resources carefully and not wastefully. Interesting. That seems like the Boy Scout way. Yeah. I support that. All right. Why don't you go right. and just tell people where to find us? <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> um, well, thanks for joining us. Um, you can tweet at us at the underscore podcafe. You can email us at podcafe.contact at gmail.com. And you can just listen to us at iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Libsyn. And leave us some ratings and reviews. And yeah, you know, let us know what you guys got going on in your lives. Because ours are pretty wild. (laughs) Yep. Pretty uh, full of screen time, apparently. Uh, Screen time and sleeping. What was that? Do you know what song that is? Uh, I'm going to guess Game of Thrones. Yeah, that's right. Only only because I couldn't remember what Avengers was right off the top of my head. (laughs) Do you know what Avengers is? Um... Those sound like the same songs to me. No. <laughs> <laughs> you just did the same song twice. No, I did. Dun, 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 and then I did. Dun, 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 dun. Totally same songs. Same songs twice.